Hi Colin. It's Wednesday. So Colin, I've decided that today's video is going to be a bit of a rambling one, sort of going back to my first video, only better quality and edited and with some actually interesting content this time. Okay, here we go. Content number one. I've been watching the podcast by CGP Grey and Brady Heron, and it's amazing. It's called Hello Internet, and if you haven't checked it out yet, you should go listen to it. They talk about everything, and it's incredibly interesting. I love CGP Grey. I love Brady Heron. I love their videos. I love what they're doing, and I love hearing them talk about all of this interesting stuff. Thing number two. Today, I cleaned my room, and it was a really good feeling, because for me, cleaning is very cathartic. It helps me, like, clear my mind and clear my space. And the process of actually cleaning it and actually going through and organizing, getting rid of old stuff and making my bed for the first time in, like, a month and getting rid of the trash and just going through everything feels really good and feels really nice for me personally. It's just a good feeling. Thing number three. Colin, I don't know if you know this, but I play in the marching band. I play French horn and mellophone and a little bit of trumpet, so when it comes time for a marching band, I am psyched because I am one of the only mellophone players in the band, and I think the mellophone just has an awesome sound. It's a marching French horn. How cool is that? But the thing about marching band is that a lot of people don't like it because of the fact that it's kind of hard to get into. You have to memorize the music and learn the drill and get everyone into it, and that process is painful and slow. But by the time the final product arrives, by the time that everyone knows what they're doing, it is amazing. It is a magical experience to be able to play music in a giant group with people on a field and have people listen and care. At least a little bit. I mean, my school doesn't, but, you know, whatever. Thing number four! Last night, I restrung my acoustic, and she sounds great. Out of tune at the moment, but great. Thing number five! The new rules. Colin, I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking about this yet, but last night you and I were discussing some of the rules that we should be following with this new video procedure, and I'm going to start going over a few of them right now. Gotta get to the drive, gotta find the file that has the doc in it that we made rules on. Rule number one. Colin, you must post a video every Saturday. That video can be made in advance and can be edited in advance, but it must be up by midnight on Saturday. Rule number two. I must post one weekly video every Wednesday. The video may be created and edited at any time in advance, but in order to remain consistent, they should be posted on Wednesday by midnight. Same deal. Number three is a little bit of a more lenient rule. While the filming of the video must take place before midnight on the date of Colin or Kevin's respective post days, editing overflow past midnight will be forgiven so long as the poster does not fall asleep and finish editing posting on the next day. So I guess it's not necessarily the midnight rule, but more so by the next morning, your video should be up. Like, I should be able to log on on Sunday and see your video and be like, oh, Colin made that, I can watch that. Same for you, we're not gonna get so picky about the whole midnight thing, although that's a good standard to try and keep when we can. Rule number four. Colin, I kinda wrote this rule for you, but also for me, just in case I get to this point. Videos must be at least a minimum length of one minute and 30 seconds. Rule number five. Minor videos may be posted throughout the week, but not consistently. The idea is to keep our content on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We can have little filler videos in between because that's just gonna happen and that's okay, but it shouldn't become a habit. Rule number six. If punished, the punishment video should exist as a separate video from the weekly video. Now with rules seven and eight, things start to get a little bit more experimental. We can work on this as we get there. Rule seven is that each of us should strive for at least one collaboration video per month. And I think that's a really good system. Now, 8 is the one that's really not fully fleshed out yet, and that it's may, we may establish a point system for videos and decrease points for punishments, but we're going to work on that as we get into that, so that's not really a rule yet, but we're just letting you know what's going on. Audience, and also Colin, who is listening to me, even though he helped me make the rules. It, it's confusing. The point is, is that a lot of things have been going on, and a lot of things have been happening, and that's why this video is me rambling. So as we move into this new section of our video making process, I think that we're moving into a new time for us. Colin, the near future is here and we are living it and it is time to make the most of it. Colin, I'll see you on Saturday.